some stuff out. Alright, this one, APXT. So this one is uh, pretty cool. I'm not in this, but this is the one that my brother's into. I showed you guys a video a few days ago, I think. I don't remember. But um, yeah, so this is one he's in. So uh, pretty cool. I'll show you a couple of charts, um, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys three stocks today, and then I'm going to um, tell a story at the end, but I'll let you know when. So we're going to do a little uh, meat and potatoes first, and then a, a little dessert story at the end. And then I want to um, basically give a shout out to a few of the YouTubers um, with other stock channels if you want to check them out and just kind of just say, hey, thanks to, you know, for helping me out type thing. So I'll put that all in the ticker um, with their names and stuff. Obviously, I can't talk about everybody I'll miss some and a lot of them cross over but that's why it's cool because then uh, you get knowledge from different people all throughout YouTube so um, we all just help each other out it's really pretty sweet so um, that'll be at the end but um, uh, this next one uh, me and my brother are both in actually SENS uh, Sensonics whatever this is another one that they're talking about possibly being another one of those shorts so um, they got themselves in trouble on this one too potentially with the, the Wall Street Bets target or whatever so we'll see but we got one uh, contract each so it's not like we're going all in on this stuff we're very diversified we've already got uh, money in Bitcoin my brother found out that uh, Elon Musk did like hashtag Bitcoin and then Bitcoin skyrocket so he got uh, some money moved into Bitcoin right before that but even, we already had some but he tried to move some more into it too so it's just uh, and then uh, over the weekend we're gonna actually talk some crypto too which will be pretty sweet uh, but yeah here's the last one that um, I'm in uh, CCIV this is the one I'm in uh, by myself so but just one contract as well uh, but we'll just check out these charts too so All these, um, I'm just trying to keep the strike really low. Um, the ones in the beginning, my brother, um, he's chosen different strikes to be at a different price target, different price range, which is totally fine. You just have to find out what works for you. These are just suggestions. That's why it's shopping options. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what works for me and what works for my price range at that time and what works for the portfolio. So um, that's what it is. It's just let's find our comfort zone. Let's test some stuff out. And if it doesn't work, then it's okay to just avoid that for the next time, you know, and then it's okay to put just uh, little notes and stuff for yourself. Um, these little notepads um, are pretty sweet. So my brother got those and I've been writing stuff down. Um, it's easier than just putting stuff in my phone or whatever, little tickers, because then I just, uh, I don't know, something about writing stuff down just helps with me. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for uh, the stock portion. So that's all the meat and potatoes. So uh, yeah. Green, my friends. Alright, so this is going to be A to Z, just um, some of the other uh, people that do stocks on YouTube. So if you want to search them out, go ahead and throw them into um, your uh, whatever search bar, and you'll find a lot of them. Um, it's just great. Some of them do daily videos, some of them multiple times a day, other ones just like weekly and stuff, recaps on stuff. Uh, really, really knowledgeable people who know a ton of stuff from different sectors and they have uh, access to these charts and stuff that I don't even know how they get to them, but it's pretty sweet. Um, and then, uh, but, so, I'm already laughing. This story is just great. So, um, my uncle, uh, Nathan, who uh, passed away like nine and a half years ago, unfortunately, um, but he is what we used to call a smart aleck because we were in that family. Uh, they grew up in the church, so we didn't use a lot of bad terms and stuff. So he was one of our smart Alex, uh, which we all are, and we all have been since birth. So, uh, but this is why. <laughs> but I got a story about it, and uh, just a heads up. Uh, before I get into it, uh, some of the names and places may have changed uh, because I wasn't born yet. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But. <clears throat> so yeah, my uncle in fifth grade. I uh, had a teacher and who would continuously, anytime somebody brought out a piece of candy, he's like, oh, do you have enough for the class? Oh, no, then you have to put it away. Again and again. Oh, do you have enough? No, oh, put it away. Do you have enough for everyone? No, put it away. And I believe this is what my uncle thinks because we have a red beard, so I think that we like patterns. And so she got stuck into a pattern where every time somebody brought out a piece of candy, she has the same question. Do you have enough for everyone? No? Okay, put it away. So my uncle, being 
stubborn and my uncle, which is great, uh, decided to save up his money. And then he got <laughs> to school this very glorious day uh, when the teacher had no clue what was coming. And so then he goes and then grabs this one piece of candy. And then uh, the teacher asks like, oh, do you have enough for the class? And my uncle says, yes. And he has a brown paper bag and then proceeds up and down the aisle handing fifth graders candy in the middle of class uh, with this teacher's like, I, I got nothing now because yeah, you do. You have enough for the entire class. And it's great. So then he is just strutting around. Now he's the coolest kid in school because all these kids. And I was just like, this is so good. You finally kind of stuck it to the teacher because you realize they do this same thing. And it kind of what I thought with this whole market, he would think this is hilarious because they got stuck doing the same thing. And then one person found this little loophole and was like, you're going to ask me the same question one more time? And then they did. And it was one time too many. So uh, just thinking about my Uncle Nathan. So, but yeah, just a little side story. So hope you guys are all good out there.